Greetings everybody, this is Silent, back with another part of Jade Empire. This is Jade Empire Part 5. If you remember last time, we figured out that stupid little lion figurine puzzle. It wasn't too hard. We got a technique from it. If you remember back even further, Master Lee was going to talk to us about the Lotus Assassin and accelerating our training. So, right now, we are going to go talk to Master Lee and see what he can do for us. So, let's do that. Ah, you are back. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. You have trained hard and are ready. You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student, after you return from the spirit cave. I object! Overruled cunt. Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. If you spent less time coddling him, you would have many promising students instead of one. So wait, let me get this straight. You think I'm being coddled, but you're crying like a baby. This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gao. There are things at play that you do not understand. I understand that this student has received preferential treatment, and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it too. If he is truly better than me, let him prove it. I challenge him. Alright, I finally get to fight this douchebag. Awesome. I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Gao, you are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gao the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. None of that David Blaine shit. Cobbled before I begin. Of course. How else would your precious protege win? My student, I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. There's honestly no prep work you really need to do to fight Gao, so let's just do this shit. I will explain what I can after we have dealt with Gao's interruption. I don't want to confuse matters. Trust that I am right. Then let the fighters meet in the arena. Fighters, are you ready? This challenge will continue until one of you is incapacitated. This is not a practice bout. Injury is a possibility. A possibility? I think it is more than likely. Master, are you certain this is appropriate? They have a dispute, and this is the only way to settle it with certainty. It will be an honorable contest. I have restricted Gao from using his father's sorcery. Doesn't mean I'll listen to you. I said you would regret getting in my way. Fighters, begin! So now we get to fight Gao, and he's been restricted from his father's styles, apparently. Uh, you don't really have anything to worry about. All he'll use is his support style and his martial style. He doesn't carry a weapon or anything, which is kind of unfair. I mean, you can pull out your longsword or your staff and just beat the shit out of him after avoiding some of his easily avoidable attacks. I mean, it's... <laughs> Pretty unfair contest, even though it was supposed to be an honorable bout. Like, <laughs> man. But yeah, he's uh, he's pretty easy. Uh, nothing to worry about at all. I mean, just like that, he's pretty much dead. So, yeah, that's how you beat Gal. It is done. The challenge has concluded, and the winner is clear. Okay, honestly, Master Lee was like two feet away from me. How did Gao not expect him to block that shitty attack? Gao, I have made enough concessions to you today. I thought I could guide you away from your corrupted path, but you are too much the son of Gao the Greater. How dare you be his son? You are no longer welcome among my students, and your father's house shall have no more business here despite his influence. I was not beaten! Not by this peasant! 
You were defeated by your own foolish ambition and predictable temper. I will speak with you in my chambers about your expulsion. Go now. Na 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 na. Okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry. Everyone, this challenge is concluded. I'm sure the victor would appreciate your congratulations. They are well earned. Enjoy the words of your fellows. I will wait in the main hall, where we will discuss the spirit cave. Be certain you are ready when you come to me. Your life is about to change. That was exciting. I'm glad you were safe. I knew you would be. Your skill is unmatched. Even Gao had to see that. I suppose that's what set him off. I hope he isn't allowed to stay. Punishment just makes him worse. Master Li has bent like a willow to accommodate him and his sorcerer's father. Master Li does a lot of confusing things. You know, like cross-dressing. Yes, yes, he does. I didn't want to say, but, well, I guess that's why we aren't the master and he is. He must be thinking of bigger things. It scares me sometimes, all this talk of troubled spirits. I didn't ask to be a part of it. As much as you want to know more, I doubt you had a say in your fate either. I'm... I'm sorry, this is supposed to be a happy time. You've proven your ability and Master Lee is waiting for you. You should go to him. Master Lee can wait. I have to let others stroke my ego first. Gao is a fool to cheat. Our teacher is a kind man, but he is not soft and doesn't tolerate that kind of thing. You'll face worse things than Gao in the cavern if what I've heard is right. I hope you're ready. I understand your training is almost complete. I wonder who will replace you as our example. It certainly won't be me. I can't even imagine Master Lee saying, you must strive to be like Lin in all things to the others. Just the opposite, more likely. That's easy enough for you to say. You're already the best in the school. The rest of us just stare at your back. Of course. There could be worse views. Ooh. Maybe I should spend more time training, and less time worrying about where I stand in the school. How else will I be good enough to take you down one of these days? That's hot. Besides, there might be bigger things to worry about. I find myself intrigued by the ghost tales that everyone's mentioning. You think I will talk about them behind their backs? I will, but I don't want people to think of me as the local gossip. Even if I am just that. Leaving so soon? Oh well, back to my training. Don't let me distract you from the people singing your praises for defeating the bandits. I should get back to my studies so I can one day match your greatness. Yeah, he's, uh, he's still quite pissed off. Alright, nice. This day has been full for you, and you still have the cavern to face. If you listen to Lin parroting the villagers' stories, that place has a dark past but I'm sure Master Lee wouldn't send you into unreasonable danger. Master Lee assures me I will heal in time. It's a shame, as Smiling Mountain was teasing me just yesterday with some special prize. Smiling Mountain trains students in group combat, and just yesterday I managed to break your record for the number of opponents faced at once. You what? He teased me by saying if I could go one higher, he might have a prize for me. I suppose he might make the same offer to you, if you're up to it. If I could fight, he could likely round up enough opponents for you to make a run at a new record, but I can't face anyone with this wound. Well, then I definitely need to get you better so I can beat your record. Unless you can speed up time, I'm not sure there's much that can be done. Master Lee has already tended to it. Then again, I vaguely recall a grass or herb that hastens the healing process. Someone like Old Ming might know for sure, He's quite interested in herbs. I think so, though I can't remember the name. It was some kind of rare grass, I think. I don't think it's a common plant, no. The only person I can think of who might know for sure would be Old Ming. Alright, she obviously really wants us to go talk to Old Ming about this, so... We're gonna go do that, then. I know you're very busy, but if you happen to have time and be passing by the beach, I'd appreciate it if you would at least ask Old Ming. If I'm lucky, he might know of an herb, and if heaven smiles upon me, he'll know where to find some. If you have to buy anything, let me know what it costs and I'll pay you back happily. 
It would be worth it to get back to training. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be heading to the beach to talk to Old Ming about the herbs. Take care. Oh, and if you happen to find anything that might help this wound after you talk to Old Ming, let me know. Calm down there, Ming. It sounds like you spontaneously got possessed by Satan or something. <laughs> Going to assume that that's the evil choice in which you can completely cripple her. Coconato, Tanatia, Catano, Shafatuyo, Coconato, Siri, Panonico. Niato no napadi irovir, kuni ugnawata ir. Usair coconato, tanatia, katanano, shafatuyu, coconato siiri pananiniko. Okay, so now we're going to talk to Merchant Fendo, who actually has supplies this time for some weird reason. But, uh, yeah. We can either have the Bearded Tongue Grass, which will sabotage Kiamin and cripple her, or we can have the Red Silk Grass and heal her completely. So let's make our decision real quick here. A potential customer is a welcome customer. What can I do for you? Oh yes, I had heard that someone was injured and immediately saw the opportunity to make vast sums of... No, to make a difference, that's it. Anyway, I've checked my stocks, and I only have enough ingredients to make one dose of the salve for a poultice. How very convenient! I'm not sure how much good it will do by itself. Might take a bit of the sting away. Oh, now that's thinking, isn't it? Yes, I suppose red silk grass might be just the thing for a wound. I could add it to the poultice. Expensive stuff, that. Very pricey. Hard to acquire, too. Would certainly help her wound, but I know something just as good. Better not be cracked. Get her some bearded tongue grass and she'll feel better. It won't hasten the healing any, so she'll have to take it easy, but it will deaden the pain. I'm actually going to do the honorable thing and get the red silk grass. If you think you can justify such opulence to heal something that time would take care of, who am I to argue? I'll just need your payment to prepare the poultice. Yes, because 50 silver is definitely expensive. An excellent choice. I'll mix the salve for you and prepare the poultice. It won't take a moment. There you go. Her pain will fade quickly and the binding effects of red silk grass will make sure she can fight again, if she wants to. Your generosity is extreme, but who am I to complain? Enjoy, and I hope it makes your friend better quickly. Yeah, you hope she heals after you tried to sell me off on bearded tongue grass. Do come back when the weight of your silver is... Yep, yep, heard this before. Yeah, alright. Fine. Okay. Do you have a moment? Oh, senior student, I wanted to thank you for your help earlier. I wasn't sure anyone would come down to our little circle of houses when the bandits attacked. It's out of the way, so I'd almost given up hope. You would have? Oh, my. Well... I hate to bring it up, especially now, but there's the small matter of my chest. What red chest? Which is to say, its contents were not there. Uh... The bandits had taken almost everything I had, but I know it was still there when... Well, when you arrived. Where's my red get option? It was rather full of silver. A life savings, you know. Would you happen to know what happened? <clears throat> I've had enough of your snide insinuations. You saw... nothing. I understand. I'll just go. I don't want any trouble. Hooray for intimidating the weak! Yes! Well, anyways, next time we're gonna go back and uh, see Kia Min and do the Smiling Mountain Challenge. So, yeah, see you guys.